Have you ever struggled to design a study to assess an educational intervention? Or worse yet, maybe you've even completed the study and had it torn apart at the peer review process? My name is Jeffrey Frank. I'm a statistician and the CEO of STAT59. In this video, I'm going to show you how using the Solomon 4 group design can simplify your research workflow and really help you wow the peer reviewers. So what is the problem? Well, it is very difficult to assess educational interventions. There's simply too many ways to design a study. And pre-test, post-test designs can have too many biases. The Solomon Four Group design can be a solution. It is a simple and robust design. It uses a pretest and a post test and has been in use since the 1940s. It's very well documented for use to assess treatment or teaching effect. And it randomizes the participants into four groups. Group one, group one gets the pretest. They get your teaching intervention, whatever that may be, a teaching course or a simulation or a teaching curriculum, and then they get a post-test. Group two gets a pretest. They do not get the teaching intervention and they get a post-test. This is a type of control group. Group three does not get the pretest, but does get the intervention and the post-test. And group four gets only the post-test. Once again, group four is a type of control. And then what do we do next? Then we move on to analysis. And this is where the Solomon four group design really shines. In the first part of the analysis, we will compare group one to group two to assess for treatment effect. So here you're comparing the pretest and post-test scores and seeing if there's a difference in the intervention group and the non-intervention group. If your teaching ses sessions are working, then you would expect that the difference between the pretest and post-test is much better in the intervention group. In the second part of the analysis, we can compare the groups with and without the pretest and assess for pretest sensitization. So what is pretest sensitization? Well, pretest sensitization says that simply by giving your students a pretest, you are biasing the results in the rest of the study. And this is rather intuitive. Most of us can sort of feel that if we give our students a pretest, it's giving a hint of what the post test is likely to look at. So even if we make completely different pre and post tests, we inject some biases. And here in the Solomon four group design, we can actually tease out what were those biases. Now the third part of the Solomon four part design when we do the analysis is where things get a little bit tricky. And this is one of the reasons in the past people have traditionally shied away from the post test pretest design using the Solomon groups. Here we can use a type of meta analytic analysis in order to add the effects of the pretest and the non pretest group. In effect, we can combine all four groups into a single outcome measure. And this is what allows the Solomon four group design to give us the advantages of looking for pretest sensitization while at the same time maintaining the power of a pretest post test design. This can be a little tricky. And in fact, is one of the reasons why people shy away from this test. So what are the advantages of the Solomon four group design? Well, we can see here that it increases the internal validity. It, is very, it can be very simple to implement. We see that it's just four groups and they each have a slightly different pathway through the teaching intervention. One of the things that we find is that it's easy to document the methodology. It's much, much more difficult to justify when you're writing a paper, why you invented a new methodology. In this case, it is simple to say, this study follows the protocol of the Solomon four group design. And then lastly, as we talked about, this study allows you to assess for pretest sensitization. So we saw in this video that the Solomon four group design is a really simple and robust way 
to look at the effect of an educational objective. So in the future, instead of struggling to create your own study design and then later having to argue with the peer reviewers about its validity, why not try the Solomon Four Group design? Simplify your workflow and amaze the peer reviewers. My name is Jeffrey Franck. I'm a statistician and the CEO of Stat59. If you would like to learn how the Stat59 web app can simplify the design, analysis, and reporting of your next study, please head on over to our website at www.stat59.com.